Hey everyone, welcome back to Explodey FPS. It's Syra here. If your Valorant takes forever to load, whether you're stuck in a long queue or your game loads so late that you get banned, don't worry, I've got you covered. Even if you have an SSD and still face this issue, or you're stuck on an HHD and want to improve loading times to avoid penalties, this guide is for you. Let's get straight into the fixes. Method one, increase shader cache from NVIDIA control panel. Shader cache is a key setting in the NVIDIA control panel that helps store pre-compiled shaders, which are essential for rendering graphics in games. Whenever you launch Valorant, your GPU has to compile shaders before rendering the game environment, textures, and effects. If the shader cache is limited, your GPU has to repeat this process more frequently, leading to longer loading times. By increasing the shader cache size, we allow the GPU to store and reuse shaders instead of recompiling them every time, which significantly speeds up loading times and smooths out gameplay. Here's how to enable it. Right-click on your desktop and open NVIDIA Control Panel. On the left side, look for Manage 3D Settings and open it. Scroll down until you find Shader Cache Size. By default, it is set to Driver Default, which means the size is restricted, causing unnecessary shader rebuilding. Click on it and change it to Unlimited. This allows your GPU to keep more pre-compiled shaders stored, meaning your game will load faster and stutters will be reduced. Click Apply, then restart your PC so the changes take effect. For AMD users, there isn't a direct shader cache option, but keeping your graphics drivers updated will ensure your GPU handles shaders more efficiently. Method two, increase virtual memory for low RAM users. If you have a low amount of RAM, eight gigabytes or less, your system can struggle to keep up with game data, resulting in slower loading times and performance drops. When your RAM fills up, Windows automatically creates a paging file on your storage drive known as virtual memory to act as additional RAM. However, the default size set by Windows is often too low, which can lead to slow performance and long loading screens. Manually increasing virtual memory can help speed up loading times and prevent lag spikes in Valorant. Here's how to do it. Press Windows plus R, type csdm.cpl and hit enter to open system properties. Go to the advanced tab, then under performance, click Settings. In the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab and click Change under Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives so you can manually set the size. Choose the fastest drive available. If you have an SSD, select that one for better speed. Now, we need to set the initial size and maximum size manually to optimize performance. Initial size this should be 1.5 times your RAM size in megabytes. If you have eight gigabytes RAM, first convert it to megabytes by multiplying eight times 1,024, which gives 8,192 megabytes. Now, multiply that by 1.5, so 8,192 times 1.5 equals 12,280 megabytes. Enter this as your initial size. Maximum size, set this to three times your RAM size. Again, take your eight gigabytes RAM in megabytes, 8,192 megabytes, and multiply it by three, which gives 24,576 megabytes. Enter this as your max size. Click set, then okay, and restart your PC for the changes to apply. While this won't make an HDD as fast as an SSD, it will still reduce loading times and prevent game delays and bans due to slow startup. Bonus tip, install Valorant and Windows on the same SSD. One of the biggest mistakes players make is installing Windows and Valorant on different drives. If your game is installed on an HDD, but your Windows is running on an SSD, your system has to constantly fetch game files from the slower drive, causing longer loading times. If you already have an SSD, make sure both Windows and Valorant are installed on it. If Valorant is on an HDD, move it to your SSD to speed up load times. If you only have an HDD, try to install Valorant on the same drive where Windows is installed. This reduces the file fetching delay and helps load the game a little faster. And that's it. These fixes should significantly improve loading times in Valorant, whether you're on an SSD or an HDD. 
If this helped, let me know in the comments and drop a like. Subscribe to Explodey FPS for more Valorant fixes and optimizations, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and happy fragging.